have moved the horses into this very tiny paddock. They're having a lovely time eating the, listen to her. You're eating the windfall plums, aren't you? Yeah. So they're in this laneway paddock that I've created in recent years. It's funny, she chews the fruit and spits out the, the plum nut part. So you can see on this side of the fence, loads of windfall plums. They're not very sweet kind. Mmm, not too bad. But they like eating them. So I'm setting up new fencing for them uh, in a new field so they can graze this down. And um, then I will let them go to their new field, new paddock system. So they'll have a lovely time in here, particularly eating all the windfall plums which I'm picking up some of and giving them to the black hens who love them. The black hens are over here. There's my wood chip pile. And here's a branch that fell. And here are my black hens. I've got to move them actually. They need moving, but they love these black plums. I've been moving them around. I just have been so busy. I haven't moved them recently. So they've got food, but you can see where they were before. So I move them every once in a while. So those are the black on black hens that I was given. They're not liking me right now because I need to move them. Oh, look, one of your plums came out. There you go. Okay, now to go and do some fencing while the sun's out. And there are the horses over there. Oh, you got stuck on the wrong side of the gate. Look at you. See, you didn't follow me through the other gate. No. Good boy. Oh, you thought you were abandoned. I heard this little squeak and I didn't know where it was coming from and then I saw the puppy. Okay. Close that gate again. See, <laughs> I have two gates here. One to create that paddock and let big vehicles and tractors come through. And so I went through this gate, but the puppy was used to going through this gate. <laughs> and it wasn't open. So he thought he was stuck. And I'm picking up kindling as I go. Oh yes, lovely dry kindling. Every day I find something that reawakens my curiosity. Like this beautiful pink back spider. All these guys are watching me with curiosity, wondering what I'm doing down here. I'm taking the fencing up because I'm moving the horses. So the horses are moving. They've finished this field and I'm moving them to a new field. But every day I find things that pique my curiosity. And here's one. This is a beautiful pink back spider that I'll have to find out who it is. But the pattern on its back is so beautiful. Look at that. Just so beautiful. And the translucence of its legs. Its legs are almost, you can see through the legs almost. It's really, really a beautiful spider. Just gorgeous. Anyway, I will put the spider in a bit of grass somewhere because I need to disassemble this uh, this uh, fence here. 
Look at the um, the lichen. I've had this fence so long, the lichen is growing on it. Yellow lichen. Anyway, the tractor noises you're hearing are the water mains are being done. So this guy is going back and forth all morning along the road, filling in holes that the water mains have been doing. So we've had our water on and off for many days this last month. And it's gonna go on and on and on and on longer. Luckily, it's been cool weather. So the um, sheep haven't drunk the tanks dry yet. Okay, I'm gonna go and shake this fella in the long grass. So beautiful. Such a beautiful spider. Dakes keep having more and more spiders in them tucked into the plastic edges. As I'm taking them down, I'm seeing more and more of them. Just realized that there's one here, tucked in, trying to prevent me from knocking it out. Saying, I'm tiny, I'm small. You can't see me. I am not bird food. So I'm gonna knock this one over here. There's a, it can find a home here in amongst these things. So, gone. Oh, no, it's not. It had a spider web. Look at it. It's beautiful. Absolute, look at its back. Absolutely gorgeous. Come on. No. <laughs> it keeps getting back on the uh, stake. Come on. Come on. There we go. Climb all the way up. Climb all the way up. The dogs are climbing up. And it's gone. It's now somewhere in there. Perfect spider web place to build and live and survive. Isn't that right, dogs? I'm gonna have to go get this other one as well. But slowly but surely as I collect these, I'll find more of these little fellas. And uh, you can see he's right there. Come on, there we go. Beautiful spider. They're gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Whoops. He's gone and hidden again. Okay, I'm gonna just take him over and dump him in the old tree and he'll have plenty of food there. Uh. So, off we go, and hopefully he won't spin a web so quickly. Oh, you're finding there must be voles or shrews or something in there, but uh, he's gone, making a new home in there. What's in there? Something delicious, something huntable, something chaseable. Clever pup. They do have fun in that old tree. And Brindle has a stick to chew. Clever girl. Yeah. Clever girl. Okay, I'll throw it for you once. Come here. Drop it. Drop. Good girl. Now, uh, uh, excuse me. I didn't pick it up yet. Come here. Come here. Drop it. Oh, you're going to give it to me instead. Okay, you ready? You ready? Clever girl. Yes. Clever girl. Are you going to give it to me again? Okay. Ooh, that was a very pathetic throw. I wasn't even trying. And you want attention too. Yes. You're such a pup. You're such a pup. I've got to get back to work. I've got loads of work to do. I've just wrapped all that fence up. A certain blurry person has started playing in it, haven't you? You've started playing in my wrapped up. So, this job of taking the fence down is nearly done. You can see no fence up. I now have to go and fence the new area. 
But what's cool is you can see where the track to the water trough was. And look at this fabulous regrowth. It's doing really, really well. This would be three or four weeks recovered and it should have another number of weeks to recover even more. So it's looking really good. Beautiful day. Gorgeous day with a lovely cooling breeze above these large trees. And look, some mushrooms are coming out. That's not a mushroom, that's a dog. It's a bit warm for them, but they're coming. There's more up the way. Look, here's some more. More mushrooms. Beautiful mushrooms. Anyway, this trailway is well manured and I've been spotting lots of dung beetle activity in amongst the manure piles. Old and new dung beetle piles. So they're all getting involved in the dung. So the sooner I move the horses, the better the uh, dung beetles will be. Here you can see, there's the evidence. You see this granular stuff here, right next to that manure pile. So there'll be a hole in there. So there's at least one dung beetle in there. Anyway, next is trailer and quad to pick up all the fencing spotted about the place and bring it to the new location. But I'm gonna have lunch first. Well, I'm picking up the fencing now. Sun's still out, wind is still picking up. You can see the quad with all my fencing bits being piled up. But I'm also, because the horse is grazed close, picking up the branches and piling them around. You can see this oak tree down here. So putting these around it helped it from the horses. So I'm hoping this will protect it from the uh, sheep as well. Thing is they might reach over into the pile and take a nibble. So I'm gonna keep doing this piling up to protect this oak tree and maybe it'll grow here underneath this horse chestnut. This is the horse chestnut that exploded November 20, last year. Was it last year or the year before? Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember if it was 2021 or 2022. Anyway, Java, Java, come on. Attaboy. You're having a lovely time learning about climbing trees. Isn't that tree climbing puppy? Come on. Good boy. Yeah. We gotta go ride the quad now and move it to the next location. As I protect my oak trees. Regeneration of trees. Checking out my pile of sticks. Luckily Java's not bigger. He'd disassemble my pile of sticks thinking I was gonna throw them for him. Throw them, yeah, throw them for him to catch. Brindle's quietly over here. She's probably had enough throwing and it's quite hot. And picking up stuff with the uh, quad and the trailer. Isn't that right? So stakes are piling up as our fencing bits. Got a bit more up there to do. So I don't have to walk around the place. I can ride on the quad. With a little puppy. Yeah. Are you coming up? Do you want to come up? Come on. No? Oh, everybody wants to ride. Anyway, off we go. Okay. All the fencing is picked up. You can see loads of fencing, loads of stakes, and the field is all cleared of all the fencing. Up here you can see where the horses were on really early is the growth is excellent. Absolutely excellent. 
and all the insect life has returned to it and the swallows are dancing and diving over it. They're gonna be leaving soon. It's always sad when the swallows leave. They're the first signs that winter's coming. Anyway, we gotta pick you up because we don't want you to get run over. No. through the field to the next place where the um, fence is going to go up for the horses. So start the engines, get in gear, and a little person is getting tired. Yeah, he's had a long day. gate takes two hands and a knee. Oh, Maya had a ride. But you can see my tracks down the field. So we won't visit this field for a little while now as it recovers. This end will recover really well. The far end I might fence off before I put the sheep in it so it has time to recover. Isn't that right, puppers? Yeah. Oh, down you go.